we're going to be using the eight inch straight here from the janet collection and also the 28 pieces from the janet collection wrap strips to secure her braids so we won't have the glue touching her braids we're protecting her hair completely using these and you could get them from your local beauty supply store Track placement is completely important when you're doing this. The way how you lay your track will determine how your cap is going to turn out. I'm going to slant all my tracks. When it comes on to spacing, I'm doing the same space that we did with the 20. So basically I swung these coming this way and now I'm doing a seaward motion on the other side. So once my curve, like I'm making a triangle basically, somewhat, because I want my hair falling this way and I want it falling this way without, without being, it being too heavy in the front. So once you slant it this way, you have the bulk of the hair coming this way and you slant it that way, you have the bulk of the hair going that way. With a small, hole just like this for your closure piece. I'm going to wrap it as tight as possible and it will be able to fit nice and tight in that socket closure should look like and I'm gonna point cut This is the razor comb that I'm using. Okay. 
this is how we should be looking then the sides first and then we're going right on top and we're just having the same exact length right around the top to my sides and I'm going in to the texturizer Your profile should be looking somewhat like this, with practice, of course. So we're gonna go in with our Nourish and Shine. This is from Jane Carter. And this is what I'm gonna use as my base for curling. You just wanna use this much, and then we're gonna go in and spread it evenly throughout the hair. A little bit of holding spray. I think it's on the table. I'm going to put some holding spray. Styling is completely up to you. It's completely up to your client. How many curls you want. If you want a tighter curls, you know. <clears throat> I'm doing some forward C's, some backward C's, because I wanted to create my have my curls looking wavy somewhat. So as you see, I'm flipping my wrist this way. And once I get to the curl below that, I'm flipping it the other way.
I'm trying to figure out who Zena looks like. Zena. Zena looked like Zena. Yeah, this lady is Zena. Zena. You talking about the lady from Empire? The light skin. Oh, the light skin lady. Before I go in and maybe move around the curves, this is what your hair should look like. Your head a little bit. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna go in and soften these curls, or depending on who your client is, if you choose to leave your curls like that, you could, which you completely could, because as you can see, it's a vibe. Yes, sister. You guys catching this? Mm -hmm. Right? Black and alley line. Don't take on your mind. This this hairstyle is given. Mm-hmm. The lighting for me too. So we want it to look very, very natural, and I don't want it to be so defined with the curls. I want to move my curls around, make it playful, give it a real '90s Holly Berry, Nia Long, mm -hmm. Tony Braxton, Zena. Here we go. <laughs> Ooh, see that in there? everything this is all hand movement okay Guys, this is what I love to do. I'm in love. 
See how natural this looks? the light on this side. And I don't usually comb out everybody's hair, but like, like I said, that's complete determination when it comes on to determining on who your client is, how it's going to look on your client. I didn't want to keep the curls because I feel like the curls would make her look a little bit older. But this is very sexy, it's very sassy. So I choose to comb it out. <clears throat> I think I'll go ahead and lighten her fringe up a little bit as well. Forward a little bit. Mm hmm. you go.